Esquivel, Space Age Sound Artist. Susan Wood. Illustrated by Duncan Tonatiu. When Juan Garcia Esquivel was a small boy, he lived with his family in Tampico, Mexico, where whirling mariachi bands let out joyful yells as they stamped and strummed. By age six, Juan was curious about music. He disabled the paper roll and turned his parents' jangly piano into one he could practice on. By age 10, Juan was captivated by music. He loved to play piano anytime, anywhere. When Juan's family moved to Mexico City, the country's bustling capital, Juan found work playing piano at Mexico's first 24-hour radio station. Juan started learning all he could on his own. No music teachers, lessons, or schools. Without traditional training in how musical notes went together, Juan focused instead on how sounds could be arranged. Finally, Juan felt ready to create his own music. So when at age 17, he was offered the job of orchestra leader for a popular comedy show at the radio station, Juan gladly took it. Juan tested and mixed and blended and arranged all sorts of sounds to match the imaginary situation. He was an artist, using dips and dabs of color to create a vivid landscape. But instead of paint, Juan used sound. Weird and wild sounds. Strange and exciting sounds. Juan had one more sonic trick up his sleeve. He brought in singers. But the singers didn't sing words, they sang sounds. They'd sing zoo 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 and do and pow. People loved Juan's colorful music. It took them to other worlds other planets. It sounded like a crazy rocket ride zigzagging through outer space. 